Moving on for now, Germany has struck a controversial deal with China. It has sold about 25% stake of the Hamburg port to Costco. Let me just break it down for you bit by bit. Costco is the same Chinese state-owned shipping company which is gradually taking over major ports around the world. The deal had sparked both global as well as domestic concern. Yet, the Chancellor Olaf Scholz has gone forward and welcomed the Chinese investment in the crucial port. But you see, the coalition partners are not on the same page. Neither is the European Commission. And why is that? What really are the risks here? First things first, Hamburg Ports Tollerot Terminal classifies as critical infrastructure. The port is essential for Germany's economy to function. It has both civil and also military significance. Should it really be owned by foreign rivals? Germany had given Chinese investment the green flag in October 2022 Earlier, it was ready to give away as much as 35% of the stakes, but the decision was under review of late. And ministers from Shaw's coalition voiced concern. So did the ministries of economy, foreign affairs, finance, defence. Key German partners, both within the EU and across the Atlantic, also were not on board. And ultimately, Shaw's prioritized business over politics and strategy. The deal, in fact, would boost the local economy, strengthen supply chains, create more jobs. But what about the security threats? After all, it is China that we are talking about. What happens if sensitive information about the port's operation lands into Chinese hands? Costco is one of the world's biggest port operators it has stakes in ports across Europe. You see, China is asserting dominance in maritime shipping. It owns as many as 96 ports in at least 53 countries. Have a look at this map. It shows a sea route of the Belt and Road project. It connects China to Southeast Asia, Africa, even Europe. And Chinese companies now own all of the major ports along the route. There is the port of Singapore, port of Hambantota in Sri Lanka, port of Djibouti, port of Aden in Yemen, port of Sokhna in Egypt, port of Haifa in Israel, and the port of Piraeus in Greece. And now have a look at this map. It shows the world's top container ports according to cargo capacity. And Beijing either controls or has major investments in all 15 of them. There is the port of Tianjin, Qingdao, Shanghai, Ningbo, Zushan, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Xiamen, port of Hong Kong, Singapore. And then there is Khao Siung in Taiwan, port Klang in Malaysia, Busan in South Korea, Jebel Ali in Dubai, Antwerp in Belgium and Rotterdam in the Netherlands. Chinese state-owned enterprises hold stakes in five U.S. ports and this includes joint ventures at Long Beach, Los Angeles and Seattle. CM Port holds a minority stake at Miami and Houston and now the Hamburg port is also added to the list. It will be the last of the major seaports in the Nordic range in which China has showed interest. One third of the goods handled at the Hamburg port already come from or go to China. In fact, China has been Germany's biggest trade partner for the past seven years. The trade between the two rose to a record $320 billion in 2022. And simply put, the EU's largest economy is hyper-dependent on Beijing. Earlier this month, Shaw's himself warned that China is increasingly becoming a competitor and rival for the European Union. But at the same time, he is seeking closer cooperation with Beijing. Berlin is sending mixed signals after all and Shaw's is crossing his coalition members. If there is one clear winner in this scenario, it is China. It has yet another critical port under its belt and Beijing is enjoying strategic dominance without having to deploy a single soldier. 
Could China use this to strangle the world in a looming wartime play? Take Sri Lanka, for example. The Hambantota port is a classic display of the Chinese debt trap. With Sri Lanka bankrupt and politically unstable, China took hold of the terminal in 2017 for 99 years. In August 2022, a Chinese survey ship docked at Hambantota. Sri Lanka and China termed it a scientific research vessel. It was staying for a couple of weeks to track satellites and missiles, but it sent alarm bells ringing. Consider the facts. A third of the ports China has invested in have hosted and resupplied PLA's military vessels. From ship to shore, Costco employs at least 1,000 CCP commissars, 1,000 others working as crew members or special carders. All of this pointing in one direction. China can very well use a port investment for military exploitation. And Germany seems to have happily welcomed it in one of its main ports. Will this blow in its face is the immediate question. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.